Happy Wednesday, everyone. Today's story is Lizette's Green Sock. One bright sunny day, Lizette goes for a walk. She hasn't gone far when she finds a sock. A pretty green sock. That's lucky, Lizette says to herself. It's not every day you find such a lovely sock. She puts it on and she continues cheerfully on her way. Soon after, Lizette runs into Tomcat and Timcat. The cat brothers love to tease her. Look what I found, she says proudly. A sock? You're a bird brain, Lizette. So where's the other one? Don't you know socks come in pairs? Oh, right, says Lizette. They come in pairs? I'll have to find the other one. Lizette climbs the tallest tree. From up there, she can see everything. Too bad, though. No matter how wide she opens her eyes, she can't even see the shadow of a sock. I know, she says. It's fallen into the sea. She climbs down and hurries to the shore. Lizette plunges her head into the cold water. A fish is passing by. Perhaps he can help her. Hello, fish. You haven't seen a sock, have you? No, says the fish. But look, I have found an enormous coffee pot and a little rake. Isn't it extraordinary? All the things that fall in the water. It is sighs Lizette, except I'm looking for a sock. Disappointed, Lizette makes her way home. Why so sad, little one? Her mother asks. I found a sock, says Lizette, but just one's no good. You have to have two. That's true, says her mother. Socks go in pairs just like shoes. Give it to me to wash. You can't wear a sock you find on the ground. It's dirty. Lizette sits and waits for the sock to dry. Is that your hat? Lizette turns around. It's her friend Bert. It's not a hat, she tells him. It's a sock. Oh, says Bert. Anyway, I've always dreamed of having a hat like that. May I try it on? Well, if you like. Lizette bursts out laughing. <laughs> My sock looks good on you. As you can see, says Bert, it makes a great hat. It does. If I had two, I'd give you one, says Lizette. Tomcat and Timcat sneak around the house on a little cat feet. Ding dong! Timcat calls out, look what we find, Lizette, your other sock. <gasps> Where was it? asks Lizette. But their brothers don't answer. They scamper away yelling, Come and get it! Lizette and Bert take off in hot pursuit. Ugh! They're small, but they can really run, pants Tomcat. Still, they'll never get their sock, says Timcat. Lizette and Bert arrive out of breath. <laughs> okay, says Lizette. Now, give us a sock. Eh, uh, what sock? We don't have a sock anymore. See, it flew away. Bear tugs on Lizette's sleeve. Forget it, they're mean and they're liars. A sock can't fly. It's not fair, says Lizette. Now we'll never have a second hat. But you can wear mine a little longer if you want. You can give it back when we get home. That 
that's kind, says Bert, in a very small voice. At home, there is a surprise. Lizette's mother has knitted a new sock. It's green, exactly like the other one. Lizette jumps for joy and gives her a hug. Are you going to wear that one on your head? Her mother asks, like Bert. Of course, Lizette's eyes are shining. Now we both have a hat. Bert is so happy, he starts dancing. It's bedtime and Bert has gone home. Lizette is going to sleep with her hat on. She thinks about her friend. He'll be sleeping with his hat on too. She's absolutely sure of it. But the one having the happiest night of all is the fish. He's so glad to have found his little rake, his huge coffee pot and now a snug green sleeping bag. The end.